Hello, I'm Rowena, and today I'm going to explain how you should maintain your mains powered smoke alarms, including how to change the batteries. The alarms should be regularly checked, and most manufacturers recommend tests every week. To test, press and hold the test button until all the alarms are sounding. The batteries in your smoke alarms should last several years. If they start to fail, you'll hear a short, regular beep. If you hear this warning sound, you'll need to change the batteries in all alarms at the same time as others will start to fail. With these ACO models, you'll need a screwdriver to release the casing. Insert the screwdriver into the slot indicated by the arrow and push away. This model takes a 9 volt replacement battery. To refit, slide it back in until it clicks. This Firehawk model requires a screwdriver to release the casing. Insert the screwdriver into the slots until it drops away. Gently release from the hinge. This model requires three AAA batteries. This DETA model requires a screwdriver to release the casing. This model takes a 9 volt replacement battery. You'll need a crosshead screwdriver to access the battery compartment. This KIDI model requires a screwdriver to release the casing. Insert the screwdriver into the slot indicated by the arrow and push away. Press here to remove from the base. This model requires a 9 volt replacement battery. If you're planning on doing any DIY or even changing the carpets, you'll need to keep your smoke alarm free of dust. To do this, make sure it's covered. The alarms need to be cleaned regularly to keep them working properly as dust is also one of the biggest causes of false alarms. To clean them, use a vacuum cleaner to remove any dust present. 